The creative director for Halo Infinite has left the company at 343. What does this mean for the development of the game moving forward? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our news update when it comes to Halo Infinite. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's know if you want to see some more content like this. It really helps out people get a chance to find the video as well. Make sure to leave a comment on the video what you guys th thoughts are on this developing story here. And if you're new to the channel, also up to date with anything with Halo Infinite related or any other Halo news, make sure you tap subscribe because it keeps you updated guys. So let's get right into the content here. But oftentimes with game development, during the process of the development, of the game people come and go as needed kind of thing uh, but a lot of times there are some positions that stay rather stagnant throughout the entire process and that would be generally like leads or directors or uh, program managers kind of thing and I feel like 343 recently lost a significant chunk of the development when it comes to Halo Infinite with Tim Longo the creative director of Halo Infinite leaving 343. Now he doesn't. Now he didn't just get up and quit and doesn't have anything going on. He apparently moved to a different role a few weeks ago, and then basically just this became public, really. And uh, apparently there were two people that have recently moved around at 343. One leaving 343 for a different job, and one person moving to a different position. Again, like the, when it comes to game development, people move around quite a bit, and so a lot of times we do see uh, red flags pop up, obviously, like saying like, oh. Why would you leave before the game releases? That's a bit of a flag, right? Potentially. Uh, we did see this quite a bit happening with Bioware when it came to the development of Andromeda. We saw a lot of people leaving, which definitely threw up a red flag. This is the first time I've heard of anybody leaving. Uh, this could be just an issue of uh, development changing or artistic um, envisions being not the same or something like that. We don't know. I mean, everything that we've seen about Halo Infinite and heard about Halo Infinite so far has been crazy positive. It has me super excited about the game. This is the one thing I've ever heard from the, the development of the game that makes me go, Maybe things aren't all peachy, but I think things are probably still going just fine. Roles and responsibilities of various team members regularly evolve to meet the need of a game throughout the development. We have recently had two changes to the Halo Infinite development team. Our executive producer, Mary Olson, will now take charge of the campaign team on Halo Infinite as a lead producer, utilizing her many years of experience at 343 to help craft the great campaign for fans. Additionally, Tim Longo has recently departed from our team and we truly are thankful for his contributions to our game, our, our studio, and the Halo universe. We wish Tim nothing but the best in the future endeavors. The overall creative vision and production of the game remains led by Chris Lee, studio head of Halo Infinite. We have a world-class team building Halo Infinite. The overwhelming positive response by our fans has us energized more than ever to create the best Halo game to date alongside Project Scarlet in Holiday 2020. These changes have no impact on the release date of Halo Infinite. So basically they're saying like, yeah, this guy's a major part of the development. He recently left for a different job. And, but don't worry, because there was a guy above him who is the studio head of Halo Infinite, the guy in charge of the game as a whole, Chris Lee is still there. He's still the guy that basically says yes and no and finalizes all the things for Halo Infinite to move forward. So if Chris Lee was leaving, I would be very worried. But he's staying on, he's been at 343 for a long time, and I don't see anything changing there. Uh, more information about Tim Longo, he actually was the creative director for Halo 5 back then as well. And as we all know, Halo 5 wasn't the most well-received game when it comes to its uh, creative vision of the game itself. It doesn't mean the work that he did wasn't fantastic. I'm just saying that a lot of people didn't like the way Halo 5 went under his lead. That's all I'm saying. And it's just basically just different preferences. I personally love Halo 5. And I think it's one of the best Halo multiplayers out there to play. But, uh, you know, some people have their own opinions and that's kind of how things roll, really. And so maybe it just, like I said, could have been creative differences. It could have been that he found a better opportunity with some more things. I don't know. But uh, that's basically all they're saying is like he left, he got a different job. Like I said, sometimes people throw up his red flags and they get concerned about how the development of the game is going. I saw in the comments of this Kotaku article that I found this information from. And people were like, oh, oh, this is all going downhill. People don't understand the 
BS that happens in game development, which there certainly is. Uh, I believe like with Halo 5, a lot of stuff was scrapped before, before the last year. Uh, same thing we also know when it comes to like, remember Destiny 2, uh, like basically the last year of development, everything was scrapped and had to restart all over again. Typical Bungie fashion, same thing happened with Halo 2 back in the day as well. So is there a time right now to worry is Halo Infinite's development in shock and awe and it's brought the burn down completely? No, not at all. It's just some one guy leaving and we still have the guy above him who's in charge of the entire game is still there in charge of how the game is produced. And like I said, everything we've seen so far about Halo Infinite looks very positive. This is the one bit of negative news and it's just one guy leaving the company to a different job. And so I wouldn't be stressing about, too, about it too much. Uh, like if there are any more departures, any more hires, I will definitely let you guys know on this channel. So make sure you stay subscribed to keep yourselves up to date with everything going on with Halo. If you guys like this news informational video, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are and say like Mary Olsen moving to the campaign team uh, for the, from, to the lead uh, producer for that, and also Tim Longo, the creative director, leaving the camp company as well for a different job. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to tap subscribe, keep you updated with everything, everything going on with Halo, guys. If you're new to the channel or missed any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.